Question 2.2 consists of six finance questions that were designed to assess your understanding of financial tariffs in the context of a bus fare tariff table. I give this question an overall difficulty rating of 4 out of 10. Let's take a look at this question in detail to see why. You are given a bus fare tariff table that shows the stage number, cash fare to these stages and 5 monthly ticket prices each with a certain limit of trips. Here you have to think of a stage as areas along a route to a final destination. Question 2 to 1 asks you to define the word tariff according to the given context. The context part is important. Simply writing down the general definition of the word tariff won't give you the full marks. You have to give the definition of the term tariff in relation to the bus fare context given here. So an acceptable answer is, a tariff is a rate of charge for using the metro bus by customers. Question 222 instructs you to calculate the cost of a return fare paid in cash to a destination in state 7. A return trip means a trip from the start location to state 7 and then back from state 7 to the start location. The cash fare to state 7 is given as 31 Rand 30 cents. This is the cost of a one way trip to state 7. So a return trip will cost 31 Rand 30 cents times 2 and this gives us a cost of 62 Rand 60 cents. In question 2 to 3 you have to calculate what the total cost will be for 6 return trips to a destination in stage 2. A return trip to stage 2 will equal 15 Rand 90 cents multiplied by 2 which will equal a cost of 31 Rand 80 cents. Since this person has to make this trip for 6 days, the total cost will be 6 days multiplied by 31 Rand 80 cents per return trip and this will give you a total cost of 190 Rand 80 cents. In question 2 to 4, you are instructed to draw two graphs on the same set of axes to compare the cost in question 2 to 3 with what Mr. Ntuli would pay for a 12 trip monthly card. This graph must be drawn on the graph paper provided in the answer sheet. The easiest graph to draw is the graph for the 12th trip monthly fare. It's a fixed cost of 143.30 over a period of 6 days. Fixed cost graphs are horizontal graphs, so the graph for the 12th trip monthly fare will look like this. The cash fare graph is also a straight line graph, however it has a variable cost of 31.80 per day. Each day the cost will increase by this amount and the total cost will depend on the number of days traveled to the destination in stage 2. The cash fare graph will look like this. Notice that the graph starts in day 1 and therefore is not drawn to the y axis. Question 2 to 5 is divided into two questions. You have to use the graph that you draw in question 2 to 4 to answer these questions. In question 225A, you have to write down after how many days it would be cheaper to buy a 12 trip monthly card. From the graph drawn in question 224, after 4 days the 12 trip monthly fare will be cheaper. In question 225B, you have to identify the cheaper option for this person. Based on the graph drawn in question 224, for a 6 day working week, the cheaper option will be the 12 trip monthly fare. Thank you for watching this video all the way to the end and if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to get notified of more videos like this. You can also check out this video next.